Hey guys, it's your girl Celia, and today I'm going to be making some ackee and sawfish. So it's just going to be a, a quick video um, to demonstrate to you how I cook my ackee and sawfish, which is the Jamaican national dish. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy. Now, this is what the ackee looks like. Pretty much looks the same after it's cooked, but this is what it looks like. I've cleaned it up, and when I say cleaned it up, I mean it comes with seeds in the head. This is what the seed looks like. Yeah. Seed looks like this. So you take the seeds off and clean it out so it looks like this. So this is my sawfish. And sorry about the sunlight guys, but the lighting is bad so I decided to open the window up a bit. So this is the sawfish. Just a, a piece. Yeah. And as you can see it's not a lot of acne, so I don't need a lot of sawfish. So it's sawfish um sorry. It's ackee season here in Jamaica. Yeah, there's a lot of ackee here in Jamaica now. So I decided to do some ackee and sawfish for dinner this evening. And as you can see, that's my ackee tree outside, just outside my window. That's one of my ackee trees in my yard. Yeah, you can't see much of the ackees on it from this side, from this angle. But if I were outside, you definitely be able to see all the ackees coming up on it. Beautiful. Okay, so I'll put my pot on the fire. Um, well, they didn't even know it started boiling up. And I'm going to, you can boil the salt fish um, different. You guys will call it codfish, but I'll put mine in the pot. I already washed it. And here's a trick to washing the salt fish. Remove as much as the scales as possible because that's where the excess salt is. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my ackees. don't have my cameraman today either, so I'm going to have to be pausing the video. So I'm going to have to go ahead and wash my ackees. drain this water off. I'll wash it about two or three times. I just want to give it a nice little wash and I'll add it to my pot. Okay, so I've washed my ackees and I'm adding them to the water, to the boiling water. And so I'm going to go ahead and cover this back and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'll turn it off. I'll remove my sawfish and clean it up, meaning I'll wash it under running water, remove the, the bone and the skin. Yeah. And then I'll come back. So I'll be using a piece of sweet pepper about half a quarter of this. This old onion, I love onion, a lot of onion in my Akin sawfish. Just tastes so much better. I don't know why. I'll be using this whole Scotch bonnet pepper. I love spicy food. And two cloves of garlic. As you can see the skin is not removed from this yet. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and clean these up and cut them up and come back with you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I've removed my sawfish. There it is. And this is what the ackees look like now. And they're cooked. You don't want to overcook your ackees because I don't like when I'm 
adding them to the sauteed seasoning, you know, reaching the finish, um, it crushes. And I don't like it that way. So it's good like this now. So I'm going to turn my flames off and clean my sawfish up. So what I'm going to be doing is, doing is removing these removing these and removing the bones as you can see there are bones there so I'm going to be removing that as I said I don't have a camera back right now so I'm going to have to be doing this by myself so I'm going to cover this up back okay guys so I'll put my pot on the fire to heat this is the codfish that I've cleaned up this is the bone that was removed from it. This is the bone that was removed from it. I like chewing on that bone, so that's why I left it there. <laughs> These are my seasonings, and I've drained the water from my ackee. Now I'm going to add me some oil. And you don't need a lot. If you have tomatoes, you can use that too. Tomatoes um, are a nice flavor, so I can sauce it. However, I don't have any tomatoes now, so I'm going to be using some tomato ketchup. And as I said before, this is a very fast and economical dish. Um, I think saltfish can be had with dumplings, yams and bananas, uh, rice, bread, fried dumplings, fritters, festivals, um, just about anything. I especially love it with fried dumplings and my bread. Really, really nice with bread. The only thing I love next to um, ackee and sausage with bread is Kalaloo. <laughs> so, yep. So I'm sauteing my seasoning. And now I'll be adding my codfish, my sawfish. Okay, sorry about the lighting, but it's getting pretty dark here and all. So I know the lighting is very poor. I apologize for that. Okay, so um, I'll had my ashi. Um, 
one if you're very gentle with this because you don't want them to crush. So you want to be very gentle with them. Go ahead and add a little ketchup to it. Not a lot, just a little for coloring and a little flavor, of course. Can you see that beautiful color? So this year in Jamaica, we're celebrating our 50th anniversary of independence. <laughs> yep. So our country has been independent for 50 years now. So I'll go ahead and give this a stir. I'll have to hold the pot and, as you know, I have to be holding the camera. So just one moment, please. Okay, guys. So this is the finished dish, and this is my ackee and sawfish, of course, my cucumber, and my brown rice. Okay. So, I was just giving you guys a moment to soak that in, take it in, Yemen, my Jamaican, Akian saltfish, and cucumber, and brown rice, Yemen. So, I decided to give you guys a little taste of the Jamaican language also. Yeah, I'm cooking Jamaican dishes, and I'm sure you guys would like to know what I sound like when I'm talking Jamaican. So, yeah, the summer dinner, I'm going to eat now. So, sooner or later. Cool. Translation. This is my dinner. <laughs> I'm going to eat it right now. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.